Welcome back to Sexified Fallout 4. We've got somebody up top. I got Clint down. Um, just just got a critical headshot. And we got somebody shooting missiles at us from up above. Um, oh, my God. See, I, we, I, we got to get away from that. I can't seem to get a shot on them. The dog meets them down. Look at this. Yeah. Here. Okay, and now I'm, I'm trying to save dog meat, but I'm... Oh, God. Okay, there's a guy. There's a guy. Let's just switch weapons real quick here. Take him out. Baker, huh? Okay, there's a car that's about to explode. Oh, thankfully, I was in fats. Man, why? Get stuck. All right, that guy's done. We're leveled up, and uh, I need a stim pack. This is just the craziest situation. I can't believe we got involved in all this. All right. Come on, dog meat. Where is that? I, I am not seeing. All right, you're above us somewhere there. And we're okay. We're now we're encumbered again. Dog meat, come here. Hey. Come here. Over here. Trade me the... Oh, my God. We're, we're going to get a lot of good stuff out of this, but it, we're going to have to survive it first. Heavy combat armor. Haven't seen any of that yet, like up until just now. Yeah, I just wanted to go on a little jaunt and have a, a little adventure, and then this. Oh, we got a fat man. Missile launcher, no wonder I'm weighed down. Alright, well that pretty much does it for dog meat. <sighs> okay, Piper, where are you at, hon? There you are. Okay, good deal. Let's let's see if we can't navigate this area here. Yeah, this is a, a major gunner encampment here, and I've just taken out several named Ooh, guys: not interested Baker, in Clint, and some other guy. They got all kinds of stuff here. We will take all of that. Yes, indeed. Kind of of windfall. I mean, when I go and loot all of that other mole rat meat, rad roach meat, nice. Yeah, this is this is their their stronghold, like their hideout right here, uh, way up here on this overpass. Four mini nukes. Okay, good. Yeah, getting lots of drugs, and we needed that. And look at all these. Yeah, they've got lots of beds. And clearly, we have killed so many of these guys that, um, 
Yeah, last episode was freaking bananas. Like, I wanted to find a good place to cut the video, but it was just so much going on all the time, and I couldn't. I just couldn't. You know, it's like, where, where's the break in the action? There's no break. So, all right. Up we go here. Let's, let's get sneaky. Turn off the light. I know there was one more person up here somewhere shooting us with missiles. Question is where? Yeah, I need to get more 44 ammo here. This gun, I freaking love this Kellogg pistol, but we're just I don't I don't find 44 ammo laying around everywhere, you know. Where were you at? I don't know. Maybe Piper took her out, and I didn't realize it. Okay, there's a gunner terminal. Let's. No, we can turn that off. Uh, turn off. Oh, guns and bullets. Look at this. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus 5% critical. Nice. Well, Very take your nice. Time. The literate keep me fed. Heh. <laughs> All right, let's look at their terminal and see what's what with these guys. I have a feeling this was something quest-related. These are Lieutenant Clint, Clint sign in, personal logs. Oh, uh, we're going to look at Intel, apparently, because I can't click. Query, send some scouts down. How about check out for any other nearby threats? The only thing nearby seems to be quarry up to the inlet. Raiders, sniping positions... Baker fired off a few rockets down at them. Nothing major. Just make sure they know what they're dealing with. Um, oh, oh, oh. There was a thing on Adam Cats. Let's, let's look at that. Yeah, most of this other stuff I'm not real concerned with. Um, okay, turns out there's a group living at the garage out on the peninsula. Call themselves the Adam Cats. And they seem to be a pretty tight crew. The scouts have reported... That their external fortifications are fairly weak, but they have several suits of power armor. Normally, I'd say it isn't worth the trouble, but with the troops angry about losing the prisoners, it might be the distraction they need. Hmm, okay. Oh, the factory. I sent Tessa out. Yeah, there's another named one we took out with a squad to scout to the south, mostly to get her out of my hair for a while. They've reported that there's not much out there in the marsh other than the old factory. Looks to be inhabited by the greenskins. They might cause a problem eventually, but for now I don't think we need to pick a fight when we've got prisoners to deal with. What prisoners? Personal logs. Preston? Let's just start from the top. Colonel Hollis. Shame I couldn't convince Colonel Hollis to see reason. But the attack plan worked all the same. Once we blew the sport of the highway and took the high ground, there's nothing they can do. Garvey managed to escape with a group of the settlers, but the rest was just a bloodbath. I had them capture Colonel Hollis alive so I could prove to my new troops that I'm done with the Minutemen. Wow, okay. This guy betrayed the Minutemen. Oh, this is good info. Even when I put the barrel to his head, he still refused to see that this is just how the world works. If you want to bring order out of the chaos, you need strength to do it. The Minutemen don't have it anymore. The gunners do. Captain Wes assures me that the troops he's given me in the exchange for breaking up the siege will obey the chain of command. But two of the more senior... Troops are proving difficult. Okay. Preston. The detachment I sent after Garvey returned yesterday. They managed to pick off several more of the settlers before losing them in Jamaica, Jamaica Plains. Tessa is complaining that we'll let some of them get away, but she's still thinking like a raider. The Minutemen are done. Colonel Hollis was the last leader they had of any worth, and Preston certainly isn't going to be leading a counterattack with a bunch of wounded women and children. Mm-hmm. 
You underestimated the Minutemen. We've gotten our main camp set up on the freeway here, so we can't be taken the way the Minutemen were. And I managed to get the radio tied into an old tower to established contact with GNN. Tess and Baker had a long talk with Captain West, and while Baker has fallen into line, Tessa seems to be even more subordinate. Now, that didn't sound right, but whatever. Now that we're pretty well established and the troops are done setting up camp, I'm going to find other work for them to do. If they're busy, Tessa won't have time to rile them up. Maybe if I... Obstinate, I think, is the word they were looking for. Well, okay, whatever. Maybe if I can keep her out of camp for a while, the others will follow Baker's lead and stop questioning my commands. Captain West says to check out the medic and to get my blood type tattooed. Seems unnecessary, but if the gesture will convince them, it's probably worth a bit of pain. Alright. That Okay, we're done with all that. And that. Okay. Well, very cool. Now we know these guys... Uh... Yeah, Clint was apparently leading this group. He betrayed the uh, the Minutemen. And what else do we have up here? Anything? And I don't want to have to come back up here again. Huh. Yeah, he apparently had betrayed the Minutemen. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what happened with you. Oh, really? No, 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 no. Come on. Just did that, did that, and let's get away from that grenade. Is it going to explode? <laughs> I don't really like walking up on a live grenade, but... Okay. all this stuff. Wow, okay, it apparently didn't even fall out of her hand, although it looked like it fell right out of her hand. Whew, okay, that is done. That's taken care of. And I really think we kind of did this out of order, but you know, it's this game, you know, there, there's a lot of free roaming you can do. You know, you don't have to follow a specific path and so forth, so maybe when the time comes and they say, well, we got a problem with gunners and there's you know, Clint and blah, 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 I'll say, hey, not to worry, I already just destroyed all those guys. But we will see. Alright, for now, I guess we just head back down. Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered this area here. Got all this stuff here. Yeah, man, I just, I totally did not expect all of this when I, you know, was heading out to do some light scavenging and, you know, maybe kill a few ghouls here and there and stuff. And, oh, man, that just, yeah, this turned into a big fiasco. I'm so happy, though, that I had made up so much food. I mean, I must have gone through half my stock, you know? Like, all my mud chops are gone. Uh, he, you know, I've still got kind of the big gun stuff, the, you know, death claw steaks. I think I may have eaten one of those. I'm not sure what I was eating. I was just, <laughs> just nomming down on all kinds of stuff. All right, how do we get down from here? There was a way up, right? Okay, is that the way across? Uh, okay, I guess it's safe to turn the light on now. Alright, and now... Uh, uh, and I'm going to fall through on something. And now it's time to start looking for the goodies. Oh, neat. I like these little pictures like this. Looked like somebody was writing a note, but nothing we can read. Yeah, oh, and we're going to just fill up on stuff. 
Um, I really, really want that power armor, though. Uh, Tessa was wearing some power armor. And I remember where that was at. I think I remember where that was at. It was down... Okay, now I'm now I'm lost again. All right, there's the oh my god. Huh. There was like a main drag area. And we were big No what? No. Oh well, still gunners left, huh? Alright. Don't try and hide. Come on, just fire. Oh, we gotta reload. <laughs> of course. There we are. Infected. Yeah, there's a power armor station here. Sturgis Terminal? Is this like our Sturgis? Huh. This was this the Minuteman that we're right at Quincy, right? Or Quincy or whatever they call it. This must be where they used to. Yeah, we'll read that terminal. There's a weapons workbench here. Is this is this a place that we're supposed to retake or something at some point? I'm thinking, you know, even if it wasn't a greaser jacket. OK. And a bed. We could sleep till morning. We could. I mean, I don't need the hit points right now, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to get get some daylight going at least. Yeah, I just I want all this stuff. And they got a cooking stove here. I don't see it like a a workbench workbench. Here, Piper. Hey, shoot. Yeah, what are you carrying Help a bunch yourself? of stuff already? You are, aren't you? Alright, well, let's give you some more junk. Because I'm gonna keep going and grabbing more junk. Here, <laughs> take a missile launcher. What could go wrong? Just no missiles. Yeah, oh, she can hold so much with all this deep pocket. Look at it. She's got four pieces of deep pocketed on. That's some good stuff. Okay, and you're encumbered now, too. All right, so that, that'll determine when we leave this place is when I get to my encumbrance. But where? Man, I can't seem to find... Like, I don't want to leave until I find that freaking power armor. And where were we? I think we were fighting. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Like a great place to linger, Blue. Tessa's fist. Quadruple's durability. What? What is that? Is that a thing? Is there a... Oh, of, of power armor? I don't know. Wait a minute. She's in power armor, but none of it had any pieces to it or something? I don't know. Oh, come on. Dog meat. Dog meat. Please, don't get on top of everything like that. Yeah, look Ooh, at... Come on. Okay. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. Yeah, I uh, appreciate the offer, Piper, but you're already carrying more than you can carry, or, like, all you can carry. Look at... But there are so many more of these guys. So, here's a question. If I were to say, go in here and take... 
Like, if I um, drop these things, will they stay forever? Just like in the world. Excuse me. I got the hiccups or burps or like both at the same time. That stinks. So if I drop all this garbage right here. Um, DC guard helmet. Interesting. Oh, here's a T-51E torso. Interesting. Alright, so I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Will that stuff still be there? And if I then... Because I know bodies go away. So if I if I loot these bodies and then just drop all the junk because like I can't put it in a container containers go away um, or like stuff in containers goes away um, but and and corpses go away over time but if I were to just leave a bunch of garbage on the ground would it go away I, I did this in, in Skyrim uh, like I would just dump stuff at a cave entrance you know and just keep <laughs> keep doing that um, and then I'd make multiple trips back to pick up all the stuff um, and I'm just I'm curious if it works that way in in this game now too or would these items just vanish over time don't know but for now we're gonna just drop a bunch of them There's just, there's so many bodies, and if I don't, you know, I feel like a, a jerk if I left all this good stuff behind, and then I come back here to loot it, and all the bodies have, you know, despawned. So. But that is the plan, guys. I'm going to leave a freaking big pile. I'm going to go around the town. I'm going to leave a huge pile of garbage in this building right here. Then I'm going to like take everything I can back to probably sanctuary and do a bunch of stuff and um, and then we'll come back I'll take as many trips as I need to to come back and get all the garbage and and then we'll do buying and selling and all that stuff but for now I will say thank you so much for joining us uh, th the this episode is just kind of a continuation of the last episode I'll probably upload them both in the same day um, I don't know yet, but for now, we'll just say thank you so much for joining us. If you have any tips, tricks, comments, suggestions, death threats, please leave them in the comment section, and we'll get back to you very, very soon.